ஆதல் ஒருவன் மாசல் ப்ரொஃபஸர் சந்தீப் அகம் லெக்சர் அண்ட் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் சிஎஸ்என்எஸ்எஸ் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் பாலிடெக்னிக் கஞ்சன்மொழி அவுரங்காபாத் டுடே வி ஆர் லேர்ன் அபவுட் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் நக்கல் ஜாயிண்ட் ஸோ த நக்கல் ஜாயிண்ட் இஸ் யூஸ் டு கனெக்ட் two rods which are under the action of tensile load when small amount of flexibility or angular movement is necessary the line of action of load is always axial the knuckle joint is consist of major three parts such as single eye double eye and knuckle pin so the single eye is form at the one end and the double eye is formed at the other end of the rod these are two different rod which are connected together so that at the one end of the one rod we are forming single eye and fork or double eye is forming to the end of another rod these rods are connected together by means of a pin the single eye fit into four or a double eye both the parts are connected by pin inserted through eyes the knuckle pin has a head at one end and collar or pin or split pin at the other end we will discuss later when we will see diagram next is the function and application function of a split pin and application of a knuckle joint so the function of a split pin is it holds collar and prevent lifting or ejecting the knuckle pin from the joint it prevents the knuckle pin for ejection from ejection applications of knuckle joints are tie rod of rope truss link of roller chain tension link in bridge structure tie rod joint of jib crane there are also uh, other examples are also there air brake arrangement on locomotive connections of wall rod and eccentric rod reversing gear mechanism in case of steam locomotives remote control of steam valves these are the another example of knuckle joint so knuckle joint is a, has a very vast wide of range of variety for the applications where it is used so the next is so see this is a uh, 3d diagram of a knuckle joint which is used for the connection of two rods so see the two or more rods subjected to tensile load this is another rod this is another rod or this is another rod so it has in this diagram it has a three rods which are connected together by means of this knuckle pin this knuckle pin is axially or inserted vertically through the eyes two or more rods subjected to tensile and compressive forces are fastened together remember that in this the compressive load is not acting but compressive force is developing in the cross section area of the parts of knuckle joint because whenever we are applying the tensile load automatically compressive load will also acting on the members or the parts of the knuckle joint second one is the their axes are not in align alignment but meet at a one point their axis are not aligned it is the axis of four it is axis of another single eye and it is axis of another single eye but the alignment or 
they are meet at a one point so that we can easily insert a knuckle pin through it. The joint always a small angular movement of one rod relative to another. It allows the angular movement or but in quarter joint we are not allowing the angular movement of the jaw of the rods or joint but in this type of joint we are, we are allowing small angular movement in the joint it can be easily connected and disconnected it is the most uh, effective application of knuckle joint it can be easily connected or disconnected applications elevator chains, wall rod etc etc later we have discussed next one is the see this is the uh, industrial application diagram of a knuckle joint which we have used in the industry so see that it is a one rod or it is a another rod which has a 22 diameter it has a 25 diameter sorry both are having a 25 diameter mm diameter so at the end of this rod we have made a fork end and at the end of this rod we have made single eye so this single eye is inserted into the fork and tightened by means of a, this knuckle pin this knuckle pin has a collar head and whenever it is inserted into the knuckle through the eyes again one collar is inserted and fitted by means of a, this pin taper pin or split pin whatever may be uh, out of these we can use any one so this is a type of knuckle joint again we are seeing The difference between knuckle joint and quarter joint. So in knuckle joint, first is a, it takes only tensile load. It takes in quarter joint it takes tensile as well as compressive load. In knuckle joint, it allows the angular movement between drawers. It cannot allow the angular movement. We are we have al already discussed on this point. Third one is the it is subjected to bearing failure. In quarter joint, it is not subjected to bearing failure. Fourth one is the no taper or clearance provided on knuckle pin. But instead of that, taper or clearance will be provided on quarter for easy to remove and fixation. The applications are tie bar, link of bicycle chain joint for a rail shifting mechanism these are the applications of knuckle joint quarter foundation bolt joining of two rods with a pipe joining of piston rod with cross section head these are the applications of quarter joint so thank you very much for watching my video please like subscribe and comment my channel thank you